In this video, we are going to discuss how to optimize the SEO in website. So search engine optimization is a set of practice that helps to optimize your website so that you can set a better ranking in search engines such as Google. So in short, the SEOs allows you, a good SEO allows you to set uh, more visitors and improve the website traffic. So in order, it has a SEO feature which will help you to optimize everything more easily without any technical complications. So let's see how it works in our case of website. So for that, go to your website module, then click on go to website. So right now, I am in my home page of my website and I realized that my website traffic is too low so I am going to use the SEO in order to increase the amount of visitors that I have in my page. So the first factor must be considered is the time required to load a page. So of course the faster your website faster would be the better ranking. So here you can see I can easily go from different pages to pages. So, so it is one of the factor that determines the ranking of your website. Now let's move to the second factor. So now let's look at the images. So when you scroll down here you can see an image. So of course Odo works the same as which it works for the images. It automatically compresses them as soon it uploads the image. So here you can see. So here you can edit this. And now when you click on this, you will have an option to upload a new image. And, and here you can see that when you see take this image, here in the setting itself you have an option whether to optimize it or keep it original so so when we add a new image to our website it would be automatically compressed by the odo so it optimizes the performance and you also have an option to upload it without any optimization so you can keep as original so although it will increases the quality but does not the performance so in this way we can deal with the images in our website now the next thing that we should consider is regarding the hierarchy of the titles so make sure that you don't have a multiple titles with same priority so here uh, I have a header called Odo and from here you can see the priorities of your content so or your title now when i come here from here you can see the priority so basically now it follow mm, the priority order or it follows the hierarchy so one must always ensure the hierarchy of the title so in this way you can also optimize your seo now the next way so after doing this you can save this and the next thing is that when you, you can see an option called as promote. Under promote, you have an option called as optimize SEO. So let's click on this and let's see this. So on the right side, you can see the preview of what it would look like in the search engine. So suppose if I provide the title as Odo. And here I'm providing the description as Odo and open ERP for me. Now here you can see here you can add certain keywords and can also change the language from here. So suppose if I'm adding the keyword such as Odo and can add this. So when I do that, you can see that the keyword called Odo is available at the header, header 
and it is available at the second level heading also and this keyword is also available in some page title and also in some descriptions as well as content so you can also likewise you can also add other content such as means other keywords suppose if i am adding sales then you can add this so here you can see that the keyword sales is there in used in some page content and you can also uh, add keywords from here also here you can add likewise so these keywords are the searches that you want to head towards your website for each keyword you can see how it is used in different content so now you can save this so these are some of the ways to optimize the SEOs in our website. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.